Hey guys, it's Dr. Tom Cheney here from Living Health Integrative Medicine in Annapolis. Here with another video. In this video, I want to answer the question, is coffee healthy or not? Sometimes it can get really confusing because you see reports out there, whether it's on TV or in the newspaper, and the report will say, oh yeah, coffee has all these beneficial effects. So you feel really good drinking it, right? And then maybe uh, a month or two later, there's another report that comes out and says, coffee's no good for you, you know? It's, it's not gonna, it, it does damage to the gut, the intestinal tract, it affects your adrenal glands or whatever. And so now you're like, okay, should I drink it or not? Um, so I thought I'd bring up this one important factor that, um, that's come to my attention over the past few years. I'm not a coffee drinker, I've never been a coffee drinker, but many of my patients come in and they love waking up to that hot cup of coffee. So I thought this would be of importance to many of you out there and I think you should be aware of it. And what this paper talks about is this research paper talks about the, the effects and the occurrence, the common occurrence of finding mycotoxins in coffee. And this is not just in the coffee beans or in the grounds, or um, it actually makes its way all the way through the whole roasting process, the, uh, the whole process of getting it to the cup. It's actually found in the cup because these mycotoxins are just so hard to destroy. So um, ochratoxin A is specifically the mycotoxin they're talking about in this research paper, which primarily comes from aspergillus. So this is a, uh, a form of mold, and aspergillus really, um, it loves to um, attach itself. It's, it's a very fertile ground um, as far as the beans, attaching itself to the beans and proliferating in that environment. So that's why it's so commonly found um, in, in coffee. So um, it's important to know that the, the okra toxin has been found um, to cause a lot of uh, chronic illness uh, to the kidneys, to the liver, um, memory issues as well, gastrointestinal issues, respiratory issues. So that's why it's of importance, especially if you have a, a susceptibility to these mycotoxins and you can't clear them out of your system. You may have two individuals that are exposed to the same exact coffee um, same exact exposure to mycotoxins, one of them has a genetic susceptibility and they cannot c clear these toxins out of their system. The other one can clear them out and they're fine. So one person gets sick, the other one, one does not. Especially if you're drinking this on a consistent basis and they're, they're continually accumulating and your body can't clear them out. So you may think, wow, wow, you know, one day I just woke up and I, I had chronic fatigue or I had all this muscle achiness um, like fibromyalgia or I had this brain fog that just you know, came out of nowhere. It could be just accumulation of these toxins over time and basically what's happened is you hit your threshold at a certain point and that's when symptoms started and that's when you actually felt some sort of illness. So that's how this can affect you. If you have any questions, um, leave them down below. I'd be happy to answer those questions, but I thought I'd make it uh, make you aware of this. Now there are certain companies out there that actually test their beans. So if you are a coffee drinker, um, you know, just getting organic whole beans isn't enough. You really need to go to somebody that's actually testing their beans, making sure that they are clean and they do not have any mycotoxins associated with them. So, um, so they do have them out there. There are certain brands out there that test and they will um, they'll publish their test results. So if, um, if that is a concern for you, then start looking for certain brands that do that. Um, I'm sure you can find them out there on the internet if you can't find them at your local grocery store. So I hope you got some great information. Once again, I'm Dr. Tom Cheney from Living Health Integrative Medicine. And um, if you have any questions, comments, leave them down below. If you like this, go ahead and share it with your friends and family. And I'll see you in the next video.